Greetings, everybody. This is Sipin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Dinst for the Astro Wolf, and it is a pleasure to have you guys here for my next video. So, apparently, I finally got... So, I decided to, to try and go for one more round of winning stuff this time around on the GGM. And guess what? Last, congrats. Last time at the Mystery Auction, you won an item. This item's uh, minimum transaction price is 59712 Please collect your winnings. I wish you a So yeah, I'm super happy about this. So uh uh yeah, we got some um so I got these beautiful, beautiful delicious uh things. That's fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what we got. All right, worth of these. Boom. All right, so we got ourselves a four, a one, a two, a five, and a three. That's pretty cool, guys. So we got a one, two, three, four, and five. We got links five times. Uh, we got all five links, links gems from a random chest all at the same time. This is a near impossibility of the game. Getting all five gems, all five pieces, in, in the first shot is, you know, near impossible. So this was just a massive achievement. Okay, so one, so, okay, so one. Ooh, we got a critical. Two, we got defense. Three, we have health points. Four, we got health points. And five, we got a total soldier tier suppression. So now we have two gem sets of links. That is massive. And like I said, guys, that is a phenomenal, phenomenal achievement. And that, you know, just makes me so, so happy. Because, uh, yeah, um... That means uh, we can run two commanders with links, maybe. Oop, I should probably uh, not, you know, show uh, guild chat for right now. Nothing, you know, important, but still, I'm gonna try to get, uh, try to get in the uh, habit of not doing that. Sometimes uh, more sensitive information can happen, so I'm gonna try to, you know, not see that too often. But yeah, let's see. Uh... I also want to show you guys a couple replays of my uh, of my commanders letting some big hits earlier today. Ooh, no, don't don't want, don't want to pop that up. Sorry, guys. Uh, but um, let's see. This is a fun one. Watch this one, guys. So even though I lost one origin and eighty eth de gen, they lost seventy six IC eighteen forty eight, which and uh, thirty ethereals. And remember, guys, these are the tier thirteen soldiers. These are the more expensive, harder to get soldiers. So, watch this, guys. If we would have activated Scorpio, we would have completely cleared them. So you guys can see why. Uh, why power of airships and shockwave can stack. We did a lot of damage and we uh, killed, you know, about 30 more soldiers than they did ours. So that's not bad. I think it's like 26, but that's great because we killed tier 13 soldiers with only our tier 12. And my Vega hits really freaking hard. This one was a fun one. We killed 34 Eye of Greed. So, yeah, and you remember, guys, these are all level 50, you know, opponent equipments. So, considering our, you know, considering uh, our glass cannon is able to do that much damage to people like this, that's huge. And this one has, you know, damage reduction, too. 36% total damage reduction, 24% total damage reduction. That is a lot of, of damage reduction. That's a lot of damage reduction. <clears throat> Bam. 
completely destroyed. Wrecked. These guys don't have anything, while we do. See? This one has barrier and airship base health points. This one has walker nemesis and power of airships. Bam. Boom. And remember, guys, uh, both of those uh, transmit uh, to, uh, um, uh, partial attack damage directly to the enemy themselves. So that is huge. This is a fun one. This one we killed twice the amount that the other guy killed. We got revenge on Sharper for what they did to us earlier. We killed 102 IC 1848s and 50 Ethereals. And as you guys can see, oh, so this guy actually does have power airships. And, uh, so the guy, I think this guy has like power of airships, uh, 8, 6, 12, 18, 24. So he has level 4 power of airships, and he has walker nemesis. This guy has defense and barrier. So he's trying to use these guys as a defensive one so his back units can hit us. But as you guys can see, that didn't work out for him. That is just brutal. When you get get when you get get get, get power of Scorpio and you know uh, a, a breakdown together and heroic charge, that's huge. That's a lot of damage. So he has a decent healing bill ahead of him. So that allowed us to actually land some really good hits against him. Now, unfortunately, we did lose this one, but we did kill two Origins. We killed 4,218 Seagulls. Verse of the day. One who has unreliable friends comes soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Proverbs 18, uh, 24 NIV. Cool. This was a fun one. See guys, we didn't activate Shockwave on this one, but our power of airships did allow us to, to, to still land a decent hit. So, but sadly, we did lose that one, but hey, it's alright. But yeah, so very, very happy that, you know, we were able to do that. And, you know, we got uh, 21st place in this Kasatan event for the, uh, for, for, for kills. Like, we actually got 21st place. See? 290 million points. That's really impressive. That's very, very impressive. So I'm very, very happy with that. And look at this, guys. We are still in first place. That is great for us. Super, super nice. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Let's see, what else? Uh, what else? But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'm hoping that, that, you know, once I win this contest, guys, not only will I get that $300, which will help me save up more money, but that will also allow me to get a lot more of those points so I can get, you know, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, my other Aldebaran, uh, slot un um, uh, unlocked. And then that means that once we do that, we are going to be moving Cephas Majesty out because uh, we have our corrosive armor. If I remember right, the corrosive armor makes it so that way they can't, you know, recover. Okay. 37.68 chance to retrigger before our next action. Until next action, apply corrosive armor to all our troops. Wow, that's a lot. Increase their defense by 120%. So yeah, we have a lot of defense on, on this commander. Attacking units with corrosive armor will cause the attacker to enter corrosive state, unable to recover health points, and directly losing units around equal to 60% of the initiator's population upon next action. Damage dealt through this method cannot uh, deal 200% more 
that cannot exceed 200% of normal attack damage. So that is one of the reasons why I am going to be getting rid of Cephas Majesty, guys. Because we are going to go to, we are definitely going to be keeping um, Hercules, and we're going to be keeping Scorpio. Because that has a guaranteed hit ability, Hercules gives us, um, you know, uh, you know, it gives us more defense, total resistance, makes the other enemies' defense drop. So that means uh, our uh, course of armor and Scorpio hit will hit hard. We get extra health points. We get, you know, a guaranteed hit skill. And we're going to be adding links onto our Orochi. And that is going to be a huge huge addition to our to our commanders and then you know we, we are definitely going to be keeping cassiopeia power on our uh, commanders on our commander because that's going to be a big addition that we, that would allow us to uh you know be effective so um yeah i want to definitely i want to keep scorpio uh yeah so uh Definitely gonna be get, be get, be getting rid of Cephas. We're gonna be, be keeping our Cassiopeia. So once we wait, once we get all that set up and switched out, our Orochi is gonna hit much harder and be able to to to, uh, to heal up. So that is gonna be fantastic. By the way, guys, I have been wor I'm working hard at work of my uh, combat AI, and I reset Vegas back to level thirteen because. My good friend Owl told me, you should really only focus on, sorry guys, you should really only focus on one uh, commander, and you know, you should also just, you know, just try to get one of the AIs to max level first. So the AI one, I'm going to get to at least level 90. Because I think level 90, it starts to, to require materials to level it up instead. So that's going to be kind of interesting. But yeah, you know, that's great for us. This is a huge achievement. So level 65 strong shield is... <clears throat> Sorry. All allied troops in the first row gain a shield which can absorb damage equal to 32.5% of the target's max health points for one round. So not only do I have barrier on, you know, my my origins, but I also have strong shield. shield. And, uh, yeah. I don't need any of these for quite a while, so we can actually get rid of, like, a hundred of these. So that, that, that'll be 300 points. So 5,804, 6,104. That's huge. And you know what? We're going to get rid of 15 of these. Or 16. That's fine. <laughs> 22, 22. I did not even think about, you know, uh, figuring that out. But yeah, 6,120. That means the enemy's uh, features will be, feature skill effects will be less, and that's that's great for us. So six thousand one hundred twenty is pretty darn impressive. And then our leadership boost, guys, is twenty three freaking percent. That's huge. So stop it. Okay, so first, uh, remove. Let me go. Uh, so I want to show you guys why it's at such a high level. Boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to do one more there. One, two, three. One, two, three. You always want to try to get three hits on all your resources every day. Because that, you know, sometimes you can get... A couple hundred points. Sometimes you'll sorry. You can, sometimes you can get up to a hundred points. Sometimes you get less. Whoopsies! I gotta stop doing that. And you know, um, yeah. By the way, guys, I used you know all my meta energy training soldiers, so I ain't got no energy left. See, guys, 
and my meta crystals, all of those are gone too. I used a lot of those uh, when I was fighting the enemy. So, I mean, it's alright. But, uh, yeah, I'm just so happy that, you know, we got a second full set of links. Which I, I, I want to put that on, uh, on, on either, I want to put that on Rogers. Because uh, he can, you know, fight, you know, for a long time. And, so, you know, if we, we can have two defense commanders, that'd be pretty freaking nice. Imagine putting, imagine just, you know, having all Lynx gems. So you can have like four sets of four, no, four sets of Lynx gems. So you can heal 24% of your soldiers every single time. That would be super, super funny. That That would be hysterical. That'd be very broken too, but that'd be really, really funny. Yeah, so I'm very, very happy that our corrosive armor, you know, I will, Sir Allington has been a huge help to me developing my soldiers. And same thing with Sticky. Sticky and Sir Allington have been a wonderful help with me uh, developing Orochi. And, you know, I just can't thank them enough. And it just makes me so happy that, you know, we are doing so well because of their wonderful insight. And, you know, you know, we, we got some awesome stuff coming up, you know, soon. You know, we, we got, you know, a Melange event coming up. And, yeah, I'm just so happy with how well this is going, guys. And I just, you know, wanted, wanted you guys to join in with, you know, with me. Just, you know, seeing how, how awesome our commanders are. And by the way, guys, oh, what's this? Okay, good. And uh, by the way, guys, um, apparently, I actually got enough uh, blueprints to get a Beetlejuice. So that's very fun as well. So great stuff for us. And, you know, if we want to create a third Beetlejuice, we can. Don't really see why I would want to because I already have all the other ones. But, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, this one's actually kind of nice. Ooh, health points, defense, and skills trigger rate. Ooh, I don't know if your challenge pretty darn good. Because health point is so 60 and 30. Ooh, so 50% health points, 60% defense. 60 points defense, 30, so 30, 60. Oh, yeah, so you get more defense and health points. Ooh, that's nice. I I want to get this because that'll give us skills trigger rate. We can tr skills trigger rate, and we can shove that on a Rochi. That ooh, that's a really nice piece of equipment. That's a super nice piece of equipment. Oh, okay. So apparently, Iron Wall is pretty much some kind of total damage reduction so that's actually kind of nice that has a little bit of extra damage reduction but uh yeah i mean super happy with that but yeah i mean the antares up until the point that the barbarian blood sun raven and hecatebolus was at was added um now that hecatebolus would actually be our best bet for uh, Orochi, because I guess a skills trigger rate, better defense and better health points. 60% defense, 60% defense, 30% versus 50%. So that's going to be a huge addition. You know, super huge boost to our health points. And, you know, we are a, are, are a health point, you know, are a health point, you know, uh, focused build on Orochi. And by the way, guys, I, I want you, you guys to, to kind of... Oh, hold, hold on a second. Oh, turds. Uh, there we go. I want you guys to see, you know... We have a lot of, we have a, a lot of health points. But also, remember, guys, total damage reduction, once you get it to a high enough level, is better. And 53.8%, pretty darn good. Very, very good indeed. And, uh, yeah, so definitely uh, good for, you know, uh, for the uh, total damage reduction. We get, you know, good critical weather, 315%. That's pretty darn good. So, yeah, we, 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 have, a lot, we have a lot of good stuff right there. And then uh, let's see what else. Uh, and then remember, we also have, uh, have the Cassiopeia. So 
Cassiopeia is an additional 10%. So technically, guys, we have a total of 63.8% uh, total damage reduction. So that is a very, very nice, you know, thing that allows us to, uh, you know, to defend ourselves, which is great. And like I said, guys, we got Lucky Nautin to level 42 in the last couple of days. So yeah, now our skill's trigger rate's gone up, and our total damage reduction has gone up. So, great stuff for us. Very happy with that. I want to focus on getting these two leveled up to the max as quickly as possible first. And then I'll work on my Aldebarans, because I do want to eventually uh, get the Hecatable Bottles, so... Whatever the hell you call that thing, because that's going to be the best bet for Orochi. And then, you know, maybe farther in the future I can get Rogers built up to be another defense commander. Because I would love to see Rogers really mess up the enemy as well. And, uh, yeah, having that, that, that Lynx would allow him to be able to heal up a couple times as well. Menderbot with Lynx is going to be overpowered and I cannot, whoop, dang it, and I cannot wait for that. So super happy with that. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to show you guys what red is running on this stuff. Out there, they're, they are running in the a outer baron. They're running in Kane's uh, Venetici. So my power of airships really came through because that means you know it doesn't allow me to activate my plugin skills, which is only which is very annoying. But my but my Kane's uh, but no but my uh, power of airships came through and cut through them. They are trying to get a full set of Cephas on there. They do have Scorpio. They have Cassiopeia's power for total damage reduction. So apparently, uh... So yeah, our, uh... Our, uh, power of airships did come through as a secondary shockwave and do widespread damage. But remember guys, these guys have a... Have like a special bonus. Uh, on top of their stuff. So, you know, you get all level 50, that's like an additional what five percent stats bonus so i mean that's pretty substantial so good stuff for us that we were able to do so much this one's running cephas light of gamini andromeda and perseus uh they are running a penetration build Ooh, luck befalls okay but yeah so um Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we actually did fight pretty well against Starper for having max equipment. We're only level 40. We're 10 levels behind them, and we were actually able to do quite a substantial amount of damage. So, extremely happy with that. Remember, guys, I am a, what you call it, a glass cannon. I do not have good, good equipment like them. But, you know, oh, wait, what the heck? Oh yeah, because remember, uh, this this person need. I mean, Dragon Slayer needs penetration, but you know, Vega he already has breakdown, and that you know is one hundred and twenty percent pretty much penetration right there. Although I might you know switch out you know uh, my uh, my devastation helmet for a Formula Halt or Formula Halt or whatever the heck you want to call that. Uh, Okay, I guess I can't click on that, but here, uh, let me just go over to here. Uh, there we are. 10% of damage, of attack damage is not affected by damage reduction effects. So, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I'm tempted to get that bad boy, because that gives us better critical, it gives us better penetration, and uh, we can, you know, actually hit really hard with that. But, uh, sadly, guys, we just don't have enough stuff for it, but... Yeah, some pretty cool stuff that is that is all that you know we can run. So really, really happy with that. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of of the updates of my commanders. You know, Orochi is one million four hundred fifty seven thousand power one hundred sixty six, which is massive, super, super big, wonderful bonus. You know, he's a heavy, heavy hitter, and um. 
sorry, I mean a heavy defending commander, and having a wall commander is huge. And like I said, guys, once we get links on there, it'll be much harder for enemies to uh, break through us because we're gonna have that extra level of protection and being able to, you know, heal ourselves. So, so we're, we're, we're going to do a quick little jump over here and I, here, and I'll remind you guys why links is good. Uh, So we, we we do get total resistance weaken effect, which is really good for us. But we receive skill links radiance from the suit. After each action, airship resurrects six percent of the missing units, unaffected by unable to recover health points. So that means any ability that enemies run against us, that tries to make it so that way we cannot, you know, recover health points. This will this will override that, which means every single time we activate our our skills, I mean our soldiers, we will have six percent of our soldiers back up in healing. So Menderbot and this will be working together to heal our soldiers and gain us back up and running once again. So super happy with this guys. You know we have two full sets of links. We have a lot of you know things that we can work on. Ooh, can I kill this person? Never mind, that person's almost 2 million power. Holy butt pickles. Never mind. But, uh, yeah, guys, so I'm hoping that, you know, once, you know, we, uh, we, uh, f complete this contest and hopefully win first place, we can, we can be set. And, uh, yeah, we are awakened, which is fantastic. And Vega's awakened, which is good. And, yeah, I'm just super, super happy with how well we are doing. And,. Remember guys, last time we were around 1500 or worse when it came to, you know, being only two days away from, you know, the peak contest concluding. So now that we are, we are literally, um, like half the places, uh, you know, difference than we were before. So I am super excited and cannot wait to see what more we can accomplish. And like I said, guys, once we get, you know, Orochi to max level, you know, max leadership and max everything else, you know, he's going to be an absolute unit. Just a murdersome titan of unstoppable power. And I'm just so happy with how well he is doing, guys. And, you know, I can finally fight with the big boys. I, you know, I have hyperspace 10. That's huge. I can focus on trying to get, you know, dodge and defense up again. And, you know, it's just, it's so, so great. So I'm just so very, very happy with how well this is going, guys. And, you know, for the Cyan shuttle, look at this, guys. We are 25,800 gems. I mean, crystals. So we are about 36%, sorry, no, we're, we're, we're about 31% of the way there, which is fantastic. Um, I was actually able to cobble together enough uh, funds to get these two things right here. The 100 Multiverse co uh, Coin Cell Selection Pack. Um, and I was able to get 16,000 hyperspace uh, crystals. I was able to get, you know, uh, 200 optional resource chests. Even though I, even though I kind of wanted 12,000, you know, uh, magazines. And I was able to get two nanobots, which got me, you know, my stuff leveled up. So super happy with that. If I do manage to, uh, to scrape together some more yum yums, you know... No, it's not that one. Ooh, Barbarian Blood was an interesting one. But yeah, the the uh, the the, uh, the formula hole. Uh, is the one that I would be going for. But if anything, guys, you know this this one would actually be kind of nice because we can get you know uh, these, we can get you know these, and then we can get these. And uh, we need, you know, the shiny metals. I mean, because we can get 10 of those, and that's 90,000 shiny metals. 
but that'd be two hundred dollars, and I don't want to spend that. So, yeah, but you know, ninety thousand would would be pretty darn nice, cause that would give us a free, or not free, but that would give us an assured nanobot with ten thousand to spare. So. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, the, this thing is, the nanobots are just so balls expensive. Like, my gosh, they are expensive. But, you know, this will allow us to get our Lucky Nautin to level 3. I mean, level 43. I'm still really, really happy, guys, that we were able to get, you know, you know, okay, no, nope. we were still able to get, you know, the, the lucky nodding and look at these guys you know these guys are exact copies of what these uh, you know of, of what our of our stuff is at so that's actually kind of fun so yeah just super super happy about this guys just you know cannot wait to see you know what more we can accomplish and uh yeah you know i just really want to thank you guys for being here for this video i want to thank you guys for being so supportive and just staying tuned with all the Staying tuned with all the updates and just keeping track of all the stuff that I've been doing. I want to thank you guys for being those awesome Wolfpack members that you guys are. Thank you for being a part of the Astrolog Wolfpack. And I look forward to our, for the, uh, the, the channel to continue to grow. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Because the, the faster we can get this channel to a thousand subscribers, the faster we can start getting support. You know, support for the channel set up, the faster we can get, you know, monetization of my video set up, and the faster we can just get a whole bunch of other really cool stuff up, stuff set up, and hey, maybe I can set up an online store one day. Because, you know, having an online store on top of my job would be really, really nice. And we can get get some fun stuff set up. And, you know, I, I have gotten to some really fun artwork on my characters that I would love for you guys to be able to purchase for yourselves. And it would be so, so fun and humbling to see, you know, people wearing my, my, uh, uh, wearing, you know, pictures of Plamook or pictures of my Kivuakian character or pictures of the Astro Wolf or having like a cool little mug or even just like a poster, just really cool stuff that's out there. And I'm not exactly sure how to get that stuff set up, but I'm sure we can figure something out. But yeah, guys, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Adinstvo, the Astro Wolf. Been an absolute pleasure having you guys here. I just can't thank you guys enough for being the awesome Wolfpack members that you guys are. Thank you for, uh, for, 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 being a dear, for, for being dear friends, for being so supportive. And I greatly look forward to seeing what you guys do. I greatly look forward to seeing you guys on my future videos. And to show you guys all the hard work that we are accomplishing in that game. Anyway, you guys stay awesome, and always remember, God bless.